Hey guys, so it is another sample Sunday or hashtag 365 days of samples. I used up quite a bit of my samples from last week. Now this upcoming week, however, is Memorial Day, so I am actually going out of town to the beach. I'll be leaving Friday, coming back really late on Monday, so there will not be a sample Sunday video next week. So I plan on pulling out seven samples to work on for the next two weeks on top of the items I'm still currently working on. But first, let's just talk about the items that I used up. So the first thing I have here is from Not Soap Radio. This is the Phoenix when you need to rise from the ashes yet again. Revitalizing hand body lotion and persimmon and plum. So it looks like that. This was a really nice light lotion. I really like the scent of this. It had a nice fruity yet floral. It just it was a really nice overall scent. I don't know what persimmon is or anything, but the plum was nice in here too. I really enjoyed this. Don't know, however, if this brand is easy to find. I'm not that big on going to like random independent websites and purchasing something through that. I'd rather go to like Target, Sephora, CVS, things like that. So if you guys know of any store locations that sell this brand, Not Soap Radio, let me know because this was a really nice product. The next thing I have here is the Basha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Looks like this and I really enjoyed this cleanser. It was like a black gel consistency that I would put into my hand and then I would use to wash my face. While it's on your face, it has this warming, tingling sensation. Nothing burning, nothing like that, because I do have sensitive skin. But I really liked using this. This would be perfect for like the winter time when it's cold out and you want something warm on your face. I don't know, it was a really cool product to try. The downside to this was it does stain your sinks black, or it has like a gray tint to it. So I because of that, I don't think I'd go out and repurchase it, but this was a pretty fun product to try. And I do love the Basha brand. I used up a card sample. This was a Marc Jacobs card. Sephora sends me like the card perfume samples every time they have like a fragrance sale about to come on or extra points or something like that. The scent I had here was a Marc Jacobs Daisy. And I really like this scent, however, after trying the Daisy Dream, which is this blue one, I prefer the Daisy Dream over just the plain Daisy. So I actually took off the Marc Jacobs Daisy from like my loves list on Sephora, just kept the Daisy Dream because I just prefer that one over. But it was nice to try this scent again after trying so many scents and realizing I like others over it. The next thing I have here was my last little Bite Beauty Smashed Lip Mask. And this was a, it tinted your lips like a berry pink red. So I really liked this lip mask. It was really moisturizing on the lips. This color was perfect for like the morning time. I would get a full face makeup, slap this on the lips and go to work. And then after breakfast, I'd put on real lipstick. But this was nice to have and it would be great for the summer and the winter and those days you don't feel like doing lipstick or anything like that, but still have the color pigmentation on your lips. So I did um, and I would get a full size of the lip mask in the color Smashed. I did use other shades in past sample Sunday or hashtag 365 videos. So that playlist is down below if you want to see any of the other products that I recently tried. I also use the Estee Edit Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser. And honestly, I did not like this at all. I didn't like how messy it was. It didn't feel good on the skin. I just, this is not something I would recommend. Um, you do apply it on dry skin and then use warm water to take it off. And that's similar to other products I will talk about in this video. But... I just wasn't a big fan of this Estee Edit one, so I wouldn't recommend it. I used up a shadow insurance. This is from Too Faced. It's the Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. And this was just a little foil sample. 
this was compared to the Urban Decay uh, primer potion is more of a lotion liquidy texture. I prefer that Urban Decay one. I feel like it won't budge, won't do anything weird. This was just a little too creamy in my opinion for me so I prefer that Urban Decay one but I, it was nice to finally try the Too Faced one because I've never done that before. This next sample was the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer and I really enjoyed this product. It was a really great base for illuminating the face. I put it in between primer and before I put on my foundation. However, I do still love my Burberry. This is the Fresh Glow and Number One Nude Radiance. I had a sample of this product in this sample Sunday early on and I still prefer this one which I'm happy about because I did spend the money on this one over the Giorgio Armani but this has a pump full size and I love it but the again the Giorgio Armani is nice does the same kind of effect as like the Becca backlight primer things like that but I prefer the Burberry one and then the last sample I used up this week was that Paul Mitchell. This is the Awapui Shampoo Super Rich Wash. And I love the scent of this, but it was not as rich and moisturizing as I wanted it to be. It says, the lush lather and moisturizing goodness of Hawaiian Awapui Color Safe. I do like that it is color safe, but my suave shampoo I'm currently using is a little bit more moisturizing than this. But I do enjoy these samples, so you live and you learn and you use and you don't use. But I'll continue to use these from hotels over some other ones. If you haven't seen other ones, again, go to that playlist. So some things that I was still kind of working on and using this week, I have been using, and this is a little messy, yeah, this is the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And what's cool about this is you just break it in half, but I put it back together so the oil doesn't come out. It's kind of ruining the packaging, the oil. You can see it's starting to rub off some of the writing. But this oil, you use the same as that Estee Edit. You put it on dry face, on your dry face with makeup, and then I just kind of use it. I don't use it for my eyes, and I didn't use that Estee Edit one on my eyes either, but I just kind of use it all around my face to get all my foundation things off, and then I will go in with warm water and kind of a cloth or sponge to get all my makeup off. I really enjoyed this. I used it sometimes just by itself. Sometimes I use cleanser after it, but this was really nice. Um, not a huge oil fan for the face, but I didn't find any breakouts with this, and I've used it about four different nights now. And what I also like is this oil isn't as like wet and runny as some other oils, if that makes sense. This is more of like a dry oil, so it doesn't, like when you put it on your face, it feels like it will stay there, and then you can take it off instead of just putting it on your face, and it like runs. So I have enjoyed using this. Do I think I'm going to get a full size of this? No, I don't find this as a necessity, but I did enjoy using it, and I'm still using it for this next week. So the next thing I was still working on is my Benefits Potent Eye Cream. This is the progress, still working on that. Hopefully I can finish it this next month, but yep, still working on that. I am still working on the Glam Glow. This is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I used this two different nights this week, so it went down a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of air in here, too, so once I get down to like the end, very end of it, it may go really fast. A fun new product I tried this week was the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. This is an exfoliating cleanser. This is really nice. It doesn't have a scent or anything strong about it, but I like that it's a thick cream that has exfoliating properties. I'm not sure what the ingredient is. Um, it has aloe vera, coconut, and panthenol. But this just felt really good on my face. It felt like it was a really great scrub. Didn't irritate my skin in any way. And I like that it's paraben-free, sulfate-free, and 99% natural. 
So this is a winner in my book. As you can tell, I didn't get too much progress. I'm not sure if there's just a lot of air or just a lot of product in this package, but I am really happy to be still using this, that it didn't go through really fast. I used it about three times this past week. It recommends three to five times, so about every other day you can use this, but I have really enjoyed this this week, and I'm going to keep using it the following weeks. And then two items I didn't touch. One was the Clinique, what was this? Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Still working on trying that out. And then the Eye Repair Cream from CeraVe because I am using the Benefit one. So I have my box right here and I'm going to just pick out seven samples to use over this next two weeks because I'm going out of town. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Trying to be picky. Seven. Okay. So the first thing we have here is another card. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Rose. So it's a little card sample and that's kind of what the full size looks like. Then I have this Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb Increasing Hydration Level. I think this is like a moisturizer. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I have that sample. I have a fragrance here. This is Alien by Terry Mugler. And that's kind of what it looks like. Then I have the from the Kardashian Beauty. This is the Black Seed Dry Oil. Then I got the Basha Luminizing Black Mask. I've used one of these before. Really loved it. This is a peel off mask, so that will be fun over the next two weeks. I have a from Beverly Hills Platinum Renewing. Ooh, this bottle is really cool. Platinum Renewing Hair Regen Revive Coconut Oil. Looks like that. I feel like a lot of black products. And then the last thing I have here is from Cora's. This is the Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. So it looks like that. So those are all the products I used up last week and the products I'll be working on for the next two weeks. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you have any recommendations for them, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.